Hey everybody, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com, sitting inside uh, 512 Romeo, my beloved Cessna 150. And as you guys know, cockpit space in a 150 is fairly limited. So um, the iPad has really changed the way I'm able to navigate. We have very primitive avionics in here, and this is really, the iPad's really opened that up, especially the iPad mini. Um, I use a iPad kneeboard. Um, this is the iPro Aviator Slash Mic, the Slash Mic 4 Mini uh, for the iPad Mini. Uh, I've got, I just happen to have 4Flight up here. You guys know I, I kind of go back and forth between 4Flight and Garmin and certainly the uh, AOPA FlyQ electronic flight bag. Um, you know, I'm really, I, I love them all, so we really use them all. But using a kneeboard like this in the cockpit really helps me to uh, maximize cockpit space and certainly just be more efficient with what I'm doing. I mean, literally, I'll just show you guys real quick here. So I'll strap this on and I mean, I've got my notepad out because I, I still love that old fashioned aspect of someone's telling me a clearance or something, I can write it down. I just haven't got used to like the four flight scratch pad. It's great, but you know, when you've got big bulky fingers like mine, it's just hard to read what you just wrote on that scratch pad. So I still like to use the paper as far as that goes. A little pen holder on the side here, which makes it nice. Uh, but when it comes time to navigate, I can simply just flip it open. This is by the way, aluminum. Uh, so real, real solid stuff, very, but, but padded and gentle on the iPad too. That's something I was worried about originally. Um, and now I've got four flight open and now I'm diverting. Now I'm doing whatever I need to do. So really between four flight, the Garmin app, the AOPA app, um, it, it all centralizes around really how we do it in the cockpit. And that is using, uh, the, this kneeboard here. And you can get the kneeboard by the way, from four pilots only, uh, .com. I'll put a link underneath this video so you guys can check that out as well. But a uh, really great way to help myself with, you know, cockpit organization. And, and that's, it sounds silly. You say, Jason, you're only flying a 150. What do you have to worry about, you know, organization in the cockpit? Listen, we need to maximize every square foot of this little airplane. Um, and it really makes it nice from this case. I mean, uh, having my approach plate right here and still flying. By the way, you know, no problems with the yoke. Um, you know, keep in mind, guys, I'm six foot four and I fly a Cessna 150. <laughs> you know, that's slightly humorous um, as it is. Um, so to be able to be that big, have the iPad on my knee and still be able to get, you know, check flight controls free and correct without touching the iPad is nice. Not that I'm ever flying like this, but um, you know what I mean. So really, really, um, nice stuff. Now they also have the, uh, the yoke mount. Um, that's the, uh, iPro navigator. It has the sun glare shield too, which is cool. And that mounts on the yoke. Uh, I'm not a yoke mount kind of guy. I'm more of a kneeboard mount kind of guy. Um, my only beef with the yoke mount is because as it's turning, um, I'm having to go, <laughs> go like that a little bit. So I like the kneeboard. The kneeboard suits me. Maybe it's different for you. Again, I grew up, uh, flying with a kneeboard always. So, um, anyways, guys, I just want to show you a little bit about how I, how I use an iPad in the cockpit and how I better organize myself, um, in the cockpit. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave me a comment down below this video. Any questions you have about flying with an iPad and most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day guys. See ya.